I'm going to dive right in. This video is for those who have clients that need your help with Facebook ads and you've never done it before or you have a broken onboarding process when it comes to Facebook Business Manager. Now, um, I'm going to give you this uh, Notion page that you can even duplicate it to your own Notion or it's actually published as a page and you can send this link to your clients so they can get onboarded. Now, some clients already have Business Manager and they know how to operate it, some don't. So if they don't, go to step one. If they do, go to step six. And for those especially who've never done before, it's a good idea to jump on a Zoom call with them to kind of like guide them through the, the whole process. I don't even understand the Facebook Business Manager structure, right? In that case, uh, I also have, a tr instead of a set setup, go to training and this is for you as an agency as a you know a media buyer how to run ads and import important metrics how to analyze campaigns and how to you know access expense reports sometimes clients ask for that how to export reports anyway um yeah so every person to like run facebook ads needs a facebook personal account now that personal account then can go uh to create facebook business manager like, for example, step number one, you go to business.facebook.com and you create, if you've never done before, a Facebook business manager. And this is what your client would be doing. Now, every business manager can start with three ad accounts. So you can create an ad account right away and you're going to link, they're going to link their credit card information to this ad account. And this ad account is going to be responsible for all advertising campaigns. And then if something happens to that ad account, you can you'll be safe because you have multiple ad accounts and you can just like keep running ads duplicate everything into those um in, into the different ad accounts and just keep going anyway but one is enough now what's inside of the ad account is it's going to be ob obviously a blank page so you're going to have to create a campaign which then will start the whole process now what's campaign overarching objective right for the marketing do you need leads uh, what type of leads and do you need like uh, quick uh, Facebook form leads uh, with only a couple of uh, information you know provided or you need a website leads with uh, a lot of information provided name phone address social insurance number whatever you want to ask them uh, or you need messages right different objectives different lead types now inside of those campaigns you will be then creating ad sets Ad set is another word for interest targeting, like an, an interest, you can say. So one ad set could be an English speaking person in New York. You can it can be location based who is interested in used luxury used cars. So and he can be a male, female, 25 to 40 years old. Right. So it's very you can be very detailed about the uh, your target audience, your ideal, your client's ideal avatar, and then multiple ads instead of those ad sets. Now ads are creatives, images and videos, and you can have unlimited amount of them inside of those ad sets. And you have, you can have unlimited amount of ad sets, interests inside of those campaigns. By the way, if you're interested in this Notion page, uh, you can follow me and leave a comment and I'm going to send this link to you for free. Uh, there's going to be a live call with an actual client of mine who uh, we had a couple of days ago in mid-February. So uh, we've done it all starting from step three. So we skipped step one, skipped step two because she already had a business manager, but she didn't have a business uh, Facebook business page and a business Instagram account. So we created those, we linked them, we link, you know, we created an, an, an ad account, we linked the payment. Uh, and then we did all the security protocols for the account and then we uh, she gave me an access and basically step by step everything how you would do for your clients so enjoy okay perfect um yep yeah let's do it okay it's perfect so you already have uh the business manager okay and then catherine paris business por uh, portfolio that one and then go to settings in the bottom left corner yep okay perfect in the menu section on the left hand side you see under accounts it's a menu section you have pages and you have instagram accounts click on the instagram accounts real quick okay so the the instagram is not connected there we then click add 
and then you connect your Instagram. I have you to create an Instagram? Your, your business Instagram account. Okay. And save info. And let's wait. Oh, beautiful. And have you have you already created a Facebook business page? I don't know. So we can create it, we can link and create it at the same time right now. So when you click on add, the add mm -hmm. button, uh, so create a new Facebook page. I mean, it has to be related to the car business. Uh, this was by Catherine, driving with Catherine. No. Can <laughs> it be just sold by Kat? Cool, sold by Kat, yes. Okay, let's see what it finds. Car dealership, um, uh, yep. Uh, also, bio is optional. We don't need to put it right now. Not important. We can click next. Okay. So, yep. Uh, I agree to the terms and conditions. Create page. Okay. Uh, let's quickly test it. Well, let's go to Facebook, your personal account. Let's just go to main uh, home feed of the Facebook. Yep. Pages. There's nothing. Scroll down. Yeah, keep scrolling down. Click on the name sold by Catherine. Yep. Okay. You see the button? Yeah, switch now. So, this is how we then uh it's linked this business page is linked to your personal account and then th this is where you can you know put your logo uh ideally you would want to have your voice face in there nothing else is required to start like to kind of like uh, make it seem legit okay we can go back to the meta business suite in the same area under pages there is going to be an ad account you see that okay you have nothing so this is basically an ad account uh this is where all the transactions going to happen and this ad account basically then creates all the advertisements and you can have multiple ad accounts for example for some reason one is rejected blocked suspended whatever you can do the same thing from a second ad account and they have their own learning curves and their own analytics so they all individual separately right now we'll just hit, create our first one so create a new ad account and ad account name so for example i just use whatever the business manager name is which is catherine paris and i put ad account number one next click next yes click next ba, ba, ba. i agree to meta terms uh yep okay now click add payment information you have the caption. You have okay, so Canada, Canadian dollar, yes, time zone is correct. Click next. Okay, so here, uh, do you have your HST number? HST, GST number? So right now, if you look at the screen and okay. you click on the second uh, row, which says business and tax info, click edit. This is what we need to put in. Uh, okay. Let me know one, uh, once you enter it. Yeah, it's done. Okay, so I'm going to turn my screen off right now. Boom. I'm not going to get it. That's fine. You can take my money. <laughs> okay. Everything is added now. Right now we can scroll all the way down in the menu section. Yep. And then uh, you see the security center. Yep. That's the one. Okay. The same exact one. And then you see where there's no one. We can uh, turn, you click on that and then everyone. Because th once you start advertising from business manager, it's very important to secure it so that, because, you know, sometimes people message you like this spam you on Instagram and some accidentally, if you click on that link, they can somehow get access to all of this and then take your credit card information and start running ads. I mean, it happened to like Makar, uh, actually Makar's mother. And then one day she just like got a call from the bank. Oh, it's like $5,000 gone. Somebody like used their like credit card on file here to run ads from her account for something else. So like, it's very like this one, this is very important. Now, also another thing that is important and what we also need to do is to add me as an admin. Okay, so you can type, I'm gonna send you right now in this, um, what do you call it, the conversations menu, the email to enter there, okay? Okay. Okay, that's the one. Apps and integrations, you basically will want to check everything. This one, this one, and then scroll down. Uh, view finance options, click on the view and advance. Yes, view and manage. I'm going to explain why we turn everything on and why I have like the full pop, I mean, control is because number one, if uh, for some reason you lose access to your Facebook page, somebody hacks you or something, then you need a second admin to kind of recover it and control the Facebook business manager, because this is like one of the most important parts of the business. Second thing is that some of the things that I'll be doing, I like, I'm going to be creating like, for example, websites, I need to verify the main. 
Uh, I need to verify this business to start like increasing the budget. I need to see like the credit, like the credit card transaction. Sometimes it gets uh, like the credit card provider, your bank will actually reject those transactions. And then I will be able in that sure. way be able to see that and let you know, okay, we need to call the bank to kind of like approve the Facebook transactions. Everything looks safe. The more control I have right now, the better and safer. And uh, the less time wasted is going to be on your end. There's so many things that needs to be done sometimes. And if I have to always like ask you to do it for me because I don't have full control, that's going to be like a lot of wasted time. And yeah. Done, and then we click next. And this one, pages. Okay, click. And then we uh, scroll down. Scroll down and then everything. Okay. Uh, add accounts. Yeah, on the left yeah, hand side. This one, yes. And we're going to manage add accounts. And then click invite. And then up, invitation not sent. Okay, uh, click done. Let's go back to scroll up in the menu section. Yeah, here in this one. And then uh, click on the people under users, users and then people, the first one, yep. Two factor authentication, obviously, because I think it's not turned on for you. So let's go to Facebook, go to your, let's switch to your personal Facebook account. Are you gonna click, um, in the top right corner where it says S in the circle. Yeah. Click there and then switch to Catherine. Okay. Click on your icon, not on the menu icon, but in the very, yeah, on the yeah, top, right. Okay. Settings and privacy. That's the one. Okay. And, uh, privacy center. Uh, okay. Yeah. Click on that. Uh, passwords and security. Pa uh, yep. Uh, two factor authentication. Yep. That's the one. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my screen off and you can do that. I have both, but you can start with the text message. This is the easiest. They're just gonna use your phone number to send you the, you know, the verification code. It might be a good time to connect Instagram in the left-hand side menu section, profiles, first one. Yep, right. add accounts. And maybe we can add Instagram account there. Let's see, yep, that's the one. Okay, perfect. So we connected Instagram, Facebook. We did add accounts, verification. Now let's go back to people under users. Yep. And then again, the same drill. Yep. Next. Full okay. everything. Okay. Next. Um, all of them. Yep. All of that full control, scroll down, full control, scroll down, full control, everything. And next send invitation. Okay, let me do, let me check my inbox. Okay, got the email. Uh, yep. Okay, beautiful. I'm in settings. Yeah. Okay, people, Daniel, it's very good. Thanks for watching up until now. If you're interested in this Notion page, you can uh, give me a follow and leave a comment and I'm going to send it to you for completely free. If you liked it, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.